guys and welcome back to my channel so um it is wednesday wednesday the 7th of october um and i have just had um well i say i just had I, this came this afternoon now i know that this is from tracy susan um she did let me know that she was sending me a bit of happy mail um and i thought i would share it with you so I'm really excited um tracy has got a youtube channel um she's just getting started so it'd be really lovely if you could go on over and show her a bit of support i will leave a link to her channel in the description box below this video she's incredibly talented and has got loads of um really good hints and tips to share um and projects to get us all inspired so do go on over and check her out so we will open this up. Obviously, I've got no idea what is inside. I just know that knew that a package was coming. Ooh, looks exciting. Oh my goodness. So carefully pull this out. Oh, she's been playing. Oh, oh look at that. Do you know, I was just thinking just now I could really eat a bit of chocolate and I've got none in the house. Look at that. She's my saviour. She just sent me and That's my favourite as well. I love mint chocolate. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is amazing. So let's have a look at these bits that Tracy's been making first. So we've got this beautiful tag. Look at that. Oh, that trim's gorgeous. Look at that trim. I love that. Really, really beautiful, delicate. Um, and it's sort of like rainbow. It's like a little tasseled trim. That is beautiful. And then we've got some multicoloured eyelash trim. And we've got this really pretty um, backing paper there um, of this sort of swirly paper in the background. And then a lovely die cut over the top of that, which um, has got a little bit of wax on it to, to just pick up some of the um, the detail in that die cut and then this gorgeous piece in the middle which um, I think is alcohol ink and um, like a, a I think she's put like a glitter I think I saw her doing this and then um, a bit of foil um, over the top of that that is gorgeous the, the alcohol ink is beautiful I haven't got any alcohol inks and I do look at them and think oh they are beautiful it's perhaps something it's my birthday this month so perhaps that's what i can uh, my husband always gives me birthday money because he never knows what to buy me so maybe uh, maybe that's something i can buy with my birthday pennies oh look at that and the peacock trim down the bottom there absolutely gorgeous and she's put hi sarah just a few bits enjoy from tracy susan oh thank you tracy that is gorgeous hang up in my craft room then we have got Got another tag. Ooh. There we go. Oh wow, look at that. That is really mixed media. I love this. This is gorgeous. This is how I like to do my um ATCs um when I'm doing like a mixed media ATC. So she's got some um texture paste in the background there, which she's then gone over with some waxes. She's got some die cuts and some um glittery like lacy cobwebby trim in the background there all of that is over this tag that has got some beautiful um i think there might be some of those colorful waxes that she's got um or some mica powders in the background there absolutely gorgeous all in these really really brilliant purples and oranges really halloweeny sort of colors so you've got that really intense mixed media background over the top of that, she's put this little um, church die cut, which she's popped Nouveau drops all around the, the background there. We've got this gorgeous little black um, applique flower up here, which has got some sparkly Nouveau drops in the centre there. And then we've got these two fantastic bats. I love those die cuts. They are fantastic. Um, and she's heat embossed. So this one's got like, um, I think it's uh, a metal um embossing head or i think it's one one that i've got or she's mixed one that looks very similar to one that i've got so you get the golds and the silvers but also the black coming through on that one and that looks absolutely fantastic see if i can get that a bit closer to the camera so that you can see it it's hard because i've got the lights on there you go but you can just see um some of the silver and that coming through and the gold 
on top of that black in the background that is brilliant and then we've got one which is like a rusty orangey color down the bottom there which is which is really cool as well i love the shape of those bats um, and then we've got another one of the little um embossed in the same embossing powder down the bottom here and this tiny tiny little sticker one with some stickles on it then um, down the bottom absolutely amazing and then we've got this cut out of the word terrify again with the nouveau drops on and it's all on one of these um tags that's got the um the funny shape to them she's layered that up a couple of times and then painted it so that it's all really nicely finished on the back as well and then we've got some gorgeous eyelash trims um and and this oh, that's a cool trim there as well i love trims um, and they, I just think they always finish a project off beautifully. And because you've got the eyelash trim, it sort of comes down onto the front of the tag and, and just adds to that mixed media effect. Um, then we've got this bookmark. I've been interrupted by the hubby, so I had to just say a quick hello. Uh, rude not to. Uh, and it's coming back through again there. You'll hear his stomping feet in the background. Um, so she's made this amazing bookmark which has been um, laminated with all of the lovely Halloween papers um, in there but, but still with some acetate so you can see and then some glitter sprinkled it in amongst the acetate. There, I think the camera's just picking that up there. That's gorgeous. Bit of text paper, some sequins, some spider sequins in there. And then it's finished off with this really, really gorgeous tassel. I love this tassel. Really beautiful, really soft, silky, navy, dark navy blue with this phenomenal paper bead. I, I had to look twice to realise that it was a paper bead. So she's, she's wound this really big, chunky, lovely paper bead. Um, and then she has... It looks like heat embossed, maybe, um, maybe with a bit of wax over it. I'll have to have a look and see if she's got a video on her channel on how to do that, because I really love that. Um, and paper beads, I've, I've seen lots of videos, but it's not something I've ever had a go at, because I thought, oh, I wouldn't use them. But actually, seeing this great big chunky bead on the end of the tassel like this, and just how much that adds to this project is making me want to have a go at it. So thank you for the inspiration, Tracy. I will be over to have a look and see if you've done a video on that. And if not... Um, I'd be really interested to see one because I love it. Um, so we've got that. Um, and then we have got uh, this gorgeous shadow box. Look at that. This is a lovely, um, I don't know if it's a die set or whether um, she's done it on a, like a cricket. I know you, you, you could get both. There was a die set that Nicole did. Um, but that she also did a, a set for the cricket and, and scan and cut and things as well. So I'm not sure which one this is. Um, but I was very tempted to buy the dies of this. And I, I now wish I had because it's actually really, really gorgeous. And you've, you actually get quite a good depth in the back there to play with. So she has um, created this with black cardstock for the actual shadow box part. And then she's done the frame with this really lovely pumpkin paper. And then on the top of that, we've got this gorgeous little pumpkin button. We've got the, the witch's hat and this really cute little um, Halloween's greeting, little um, cutie there holding the pumpkin and the little girl here in her spotty dress. Inside, we've got some witch's hat paper and then we've got this gorgeous little witch and her black cat and pumpkin um, over the top of that. We've got the another one of these amazing um, shaped bats on the bottom there, a little bit of foliage and then some of the um, lovely Nouveau drops and an enamel um, drop there, um, some enamel drops there scattered about. Um, and again, some, some lovely trims up on the top there. That's a really lovely lace, actually. You've got the black lace with the, the white little fronds on the bottom. That's really pretty. I really like that. I'm totally spoiled. For a little bit of Happy Mail, there is an absolute ton here absolute ton um we've also got these beauties now i'm not sure if these are on the package or whether they've come off of one of the other things i'm not sure but they are fab little um glittery pumpkins i really like those tracy where did you get those from they are fabulous i've been wanting something like that for a project that i'm doing because but they are amazing but more importantly, look at what is inside this bag. Oh my goodness. That um, rosette is stunning. Look at that. And I love the idea of putting the wax seal 
on top of the rosette how brilliant is that look at these wax seals they are amazing we've got this gorgeous one here with the um, cat and all the sort of celtic um, shapes and things around it and and the crescent moon in the background we've got this gorgeous one on top of the rosette which has got the the pumpkin and she's gone over all of these with wax so that it, it highlights that relief and you really get to see the beautiful image on the on the wax seal absolutely gorgeous then down the bottom here we've got one that says ghosts lanterns full moons so this is a die cut that again she's used these waxes on i am gonna have to invest in some of these waxes i just love what tracy does with these waxes um we've got the um, she's, she's die cut a circle out of some patterned paper with the words and some bats and the, and the tree branches. And then again, some of those uh, really lovely bats um, die cut and layered over the top of that. Um, we've then got this one here, which is a, um, a die cut. Again, um, all those stunning waxes, lots of different colours. So every time you sort of move it, you see a different colour. Really, really gorgeous. Again, a piece cut out of, of a patterned paper that's got some um, some good Halloween words on. And then we've got the bat again down the bottom. I love these bats. I need these bats in my life. I need them. Uh, and then we've got some more fantastic wax seals. We've got this gorgeous little um, witch here. We've got the Happy Halloween with the pumpkin and then that's on this gorgeous rosette again. Um, just caught around the edges with some of that, that lovely um, gilding wax just to, to sort of make those edges pop a little bit. And then we've got another wax seal there with the um, cobweb in it. And I like the way all the wax seals are done in different coloured wax, you know, the actual wax melts are different colours. Um, and then she's, like I say, gone over them with the... Um, rubbing wax to, to bring the patterns out um, it's something that I, I've, I've got some wax seals and some stamps I've got to say mine don't always come out this perfectly I end up melting and remelting and I end up faffing about with them for ages because I can't get them in these lovely beautiful circular shapes that, that Tracy gets um, and then she's done this um, uh, key escutcheon on top of another um, die cut shape and we've got one of those fantastic bats down the bottom there and again she's gone over all of that with some of the colored waxes to bring out all of the pattern and the detail and we've got a couple of um enamel dots on there Ooh, just had to nip and turn my sausages over the other one was beeping um, she's done this really lovely little bag topper just up the top here and put the word boo on it which is really cute um, and then this gorgeous um metallic sparkly holographic -y flower with some um, foliage around the sides this lovely great big green pearl in the center and then this really pretty butterfly um, on the on the side there and this is all layered on this amazing paper in the background with all these candles gorgeous gorgeous paper with the cobwebs and the candles and then she's filled the bag with um, some halloweeny type confetti so we've got the gorgeous pumpkins and we've got these really gorgeous cute little tiny tiny gold sequins and then some of the bigger um glittery sequins and then it says here all orders promptly attended to i absolutely love that that is gorgeous and the the embellishments that she sent me last time i haven't been able for myself to use yet they are actually still sat in the packaging over on my display wall um but i might i might crack into these and actually um i might bring myself to use them we'll see we'll see if i'm brave enough to to use them or whether they end up on my <laughs> display wall with everything else um we've also then got some little goodies so we've got a little um goodie bag here which has got so we've got the um some of those lovely wax seals so we've got an alice one that one's really cute with the clock and alice we've got this lovely one with again the witch and it's like a marbled wax this time ah oh, look at that one you've got jack skeleton that one's brilliant yeah love them we've got some um resin pieces some like flat backs wow look at that for a gem that's huge that is the sparkliest, biggest gem I think I, I now own. We've got the little flatback pumpkin. And then we've got a few little Christmassy bits. So we've got a present, some candy cane. 
we've got a little snowman and a reindeer and a little Fimo um, candy cane too. So we've got those gorgeous little goodies. It's a right blinking package, isn't it? She said, I'm sending you a little bit of happy mail. This is not a little bit of happy mail. This is a big bit of happy mail. It's amazing. Um, we got some gorgeous scented candles. They're really nice because they made the whole package smell nice as well. Really, really pretty smell. I'll be uh, burning those in my craft room. We got a roll of washi tape. That's really pretty as well. It's um, polka dots, um, but it's got some metallic in there. I don't know if the camera will pick up the metallic. God, my camera's rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. There we go. I don't know whether... No, it's not. Not getting it, but um, some, of the ro some of the dots are um, metallic, so that's really, really nice. Um, we've got a couple of fabric bows. So we've got this lovely orange one and then this um, cream one with the purples and the lilac um, little like leaves on them. So that one's fantastic for Halloween and that one you could just use at any time, couldn't you? They're really, really lovely. We've got a fabric flower. That's really cute. So she's die cut some flowers. Um, I think I've got those dies um, and they come with like a hole in the center and she's just sort of pulled them all together with a with a brad it's really lovely little um, purple star brad that's a nice idea isn't it something a little bit different then we've got got a little centauro girl one of the gorgeous girls um, in um, a little like chipboard little wood um, like balsa wood one so you can color that um, you could use your, your pens or crayons um, inks anything really on that one and add her as an embellishment so she's super cute we've then got some um, foil cutouts so we've got um, I think these must be pre-cuts so they're really really sturdy we've got a little person we've got horse Oh, look at this little elephant. Oh, that would be lovely on the front of a, a baby mini album, wouldn't it? I like that. And then we've got this frog. You put your legs, your fingers through to make a little... I might have to make something with my nephew when I next... If I ever next get to blink and see him with everything that's going on. Um, and then she sent me some pages. So we've got this gorgeous page out of um, a Peter Pan book. That is lovely. And I know the bestie will be... Uh, after that one she she loves all things peter pan that is gorgeous that'd be lovely in a um in a junk journal or something wouldn't it i really like that then we've got a couple of scrapbook papers we've got this gorgeous one with the butterflies and then we've got this striped one which has got glitter in the stripes really pretty oh look at this one that's that's really nice so this is a um a plain white one but it's embossed with stars that's really lovely the texture on that is fantastic and with it being A4 as well, oh, you could do some nice things with that. My mind's going a, a ten to the dozen with that one. Mm -hmm. I have to think of something good for that one. We've got a really lovely gingham. This is a lovely one, um, quite a sturdy one. This one, um, so you could do, you could use that as a card base. That'd make a lovely card base for a spring card or Easter, something like that. Really, really pretty, um, pale grassy green colour. Oh, look at that! That is beautiful. That is so sparkly, and I'm a bit of a magpie. I, I do like sparkly things. Um, so that is all um, magnolia flowers. And obviously, it says magnolia all over it. And then you've got the, the gorgeous glitter. And I love that texture. I really love the feel of that. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. That's like a bit of um, vellum, but it's green, and it's... Um, not glittery it's like mic like got mica in in the actual paper that is gorgeous oh i can make some glassine bags or something again for a, i can see that really distressed up and in a junk journal that'd be gorgeous we've then got some cut aparts on this one so we've got some gorgeous flowers um and you can layer these up they're like decoupage um flowers each each little pot you can layer up so they'd be really, really pretty to add to tags or to cards. Um, and then on the back, you've got a couple of patterned papers. So you've got the one with all the pansies and then this one with this lovely wave to it. 
Oh, and then look at this. You've got the Art Nouveau type girls. This is gorgeous. Again, this is a decoupage, so you can build it up. I mean, you wouldn't have to. You could, you know, some of these elements you could use, all three of those you could use just on their own. You know, those two you could use on their own and those two on the bottom you could use on their own. So even if you didn't want to build up these sorts of things into the decoupage, the, there's so many elements on there that you could use, again, in tags or journals or, you know, just about anything, really. They are beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And then don't forget... That she sent me chocolate. Yay! I love it. So that is what the lovely, lovely Tracy has sent me as a bit of happy mail. Um, I, I really appreciate it, Tracy. You didn't need to do that, and I, uh, you know, I, I really appreciate it. It's so lovely, um, and the things that you make are just so beautiful. I really, really um, love everything that you've sent me. So don't forget to go on over and check out Tracy. Um, like I say, the link to her channel will be in the description box below this video. So do go on over and give her some love because we all know what it's like when we first get started on YouTube and you're, you're sort of trying to navigate the waters of subscriber counts and, and all that sort of thing. Talking about subscriber counts, woohoo, I've just remembered, I hit a thousand last night. Um, I noticed, it was quite late last night actually, um, my husband sent a, a message say, say, saying to me, did you realise you've just hit a thousand subscribers? So yay! Thank you very much to everybody that has subscribed. Um, I, I'm a bit shocked really. Um, obviously I did the Road to a Thousand Subbies giveaway earlier um, in the year, um, but I gave it away on the planned date rather than waiting making everybody wait until i actually hit a thousand um but it um it's my birthday this month i've been on youtube for a year um at the end of last month um and i've just hit a thousand subbies so i think i am gonna have to think about a giveaway so uh keep your eyes peeled i will be um seeing what i can pull together for that so Thank you so much again to Tracy. Um, if you want to see how some of these gorgeous things are made, do head on over to her channel and I will see you all again very soon in another crafty video. Bye for now.